Hi, it's me again, Pam. So I tried to put a tape out, but it's a little too long, so I'm going to put it on MySpace. Um, again, as I'm saying, what I believe in. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, who shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm going to talk fast, because so, you know on YouTube, you only have ten minutes. I believe that in the beginning God created heaven and earth. Him and Jesus, God and the Holy Spirit and wisdom, stood over the earth before it was created. He knew the, the beginning from the end. Of course he has. He knew exactly you who you were, and he knew I would be speaking to you at this very moment and day. I believe, I want to talk about what I believe is happening now. You read in Matthew. Jesus said in the end days they will be vipers. They will be killing each other. They will be um, haters of each other. People will cut their, your he their heads off and think they're doing their God a favor. And Jesus said in the end days parents will turn on children. Children will turn on parents. Jesus said there will be terrorism all over the world. Jesus said in the end days, he said that all man will... Um, be lovers of their self. Women have no shame anymore. Women expose themselves any which way, form, or fashion. You can't turn TV on without some kind of perversion on TV. You can't have even commercials without talking, worshiping men's you know what. You can't have none of this stuff anymore. I mean, it's everywhere. You have people that hear the word of God and they believe that Jesus is the son of God and everything, but their lives don't change. They live the same every day. Oh, they may go to church and they may do this or that, but they do not, do not know Jesus as they, they know, they know of him, but they have not made it a, a personal relationship with him in their heart. He says, I'm coming for a spot without wrinkle. There, you know, there's ten virgins in the Bible. Five virgins had oils in their lamp. That means the word of God. And five had their lamps were not filled. In other words, they knew God, but they did not have a fellowship with God. They, they had a, a, a sign of godliness, but denied thereof the truth. Jesus said in the end days, he said that there will be wars, rumors of wars. There will be lovers of the, their self. There will be a falling away of the church. Jesus said that there will be um, the, the rapture, I believe, takes place first. And that is the taking of the way of the church. It talks about the taking in Hebrew. It does not say rapture, man. There's a word, I don't know which it, it's in. I'm not going to get into that. The, but it's called the taking away. The trumpet will blow. The dead in Christ will rise first. We which are alive and remain will be caught up together with him in the air. And we will dwell with him for seven years. There will be seven years of tribulation. The Antichrist will make peace with the Israel. When they make peace with Israel. And then they will break their peace in the three and a half years. And the, Is the Israelites will realize that these this, the Antichrist is the Antichrist. And that... <clears throat> And then they will cry out to the Lord. 144,000 people are the Jews. Do you understand me? I say it again. They are the Jews. They will be ministering the truth about the Lord because they will realize that he is the Son of God and they will cry out to him. Yes, they will be hidden away in Petra. And then they top it off. Then then there will be the two witnesses, Enoch and Elijah, or it will be Enoch. I mean, Elijah and Moses. We don't know which one exactly. There's, there's different debates on that. And then after that, the two witnesses will be killed. Three days, they'll lie in the streets. Everybody will give them their presence, and, and they'll be so glad. And then they'll, and they'll raise up again. And then it's going to rumble. Then the, the seven um, seals will be broken. Then there's seven bowls that will be poured upon this earth. There will be demon spirits released, which I believe are being released now. They say down in Mexico or on the border of uh, California in Mexico um, that they are seeing these beings every which way I do believe that these are demons being released from hell and uh, I believe then after the three and a half years then it will be three and a half years of terror, terror that's when the bowls and the seals and that will be broken out in heaven the judgments then, the, then you know the four horsemen and then I believe uh, you know, at, at that time when they make the peace, the Antichrist will be thrown, I mean, Satan will be thrown to the earth, and then that's when he will um, come into the Antichrist, I mean, come into the Antichrist, you know, you know he's going to be fatally wounded. 
and he'll be able to solve all the woes that's going on in the world. When the United States goes down, most states, most countries are going to go down because most countries depend upon the United States of America. They are running our country into the ground. They kicked Jesus out of the White House. I'm not putting the man down. He just is part of the end time scenario because God knew what he would do. And not only him, but the people like Nancy Pelosi and these other ones. They are not... Um, they're very evil human beings, not humans, Be very evil people. And then I believe um, the second coming. The second coming is after the seven years of tribulation. Jesus will come back with his saints, which is with, with the ones that went in the rapture in the beginning of tribulation. And then there will be, uh, when he puts his foot on Mount Olives, it will split. And half, and the earth will be put back the way it was before. In other words, all the continents will be put back together again. New Jerusalem will descend from heaven at the end of tribulation. I mean, after the end of uh, the thousand-year millennium. The thousand-year millennium, there will be people being born and lived a hundred years, and there's people that have to be born again during that time. You have to be born again. I'm talking about the people that are living and being born like they are today. Then these people will... Except the Lord or not, at the end, at the end of the thousand years, towards the end, God's going to release Satan for a short period of time. He's going to deceive literally millions of them, and when they are deceived, then God Himself is going to consume them with fire. Then the white, great, dark June judgment will appear, and it will start, and then eternity starts. New Jerusalem will descend from heaven and come to Israel. That is what I believe. And there's a lot in between that. But I want to thank you for your time. My name is Pamela. And I love your soul. Jesus is coming. For God so loved the world. He gave us him because of who should believe in him. shall not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus loves you. And on you to you. And you have a few seconds. So I want to say this with love. And that he loves you. And he gave his life. So um, call upon him while there is time to be called upon. In Jesus' name.